So when you're targeted, this this happens to me all the time. School buses. I even did a video on one. Uh, lots of school buses, man. I'm not sure why. Every time I park, uh, school buses will start coming around me, and I'm not sure what it means, but uh, <laughs> that's uh, it's very common. And um, what they do is with me to let like uh, to let me know that they're targeting me. They they'll back up like five feet. Or that must be, maybe it's procedure for the brakes or something, I don't know. But yeah, this one's pretty, um, it's, uh, and this is not a, uh, the, oh, they're, this is not, see, they're actually living in this one here, that's not any, uh, it's not any, um, that's not a, that's his home. Like he, he, he's living in there. So yeah. But it's targeting. He's just staring at me. It's targeting man, like that happens to me. See if I were to like film the targeting every day, it's, it would be believable. Because there, there would be no way that many coincidences. But they, it was, but for to the normal person, they'd be like, well they're just, it's just a bus. I know. I know. This is what it looks like. But see, when you're targeted, like if you were, if that would happen to you every time you parked, then you'd be, you would know there's, there's no way. There's no way that a school bus pulls beside you every time you park or two dump trucks or two yellow cars or two red, purple, gray, you know? Well, actually, no, no yellow tar cars have targeted me, but, but yeah, so, come on, come on, man, like, what, what, uh, I'm going to talk about something right now, and it, that is the electronic harassment, um, like, literally, I was getting it so bad the other night, I was screaming, like, I was screaming out to God, like, God, please, God, help me, God. Like, uh, I, I was, I feel like I was dying. Like, I was going, my heart, my heart, I could feel my heart. It felt like somebody was, had a match on it, a flame on my heart. That's how it felt. That's how intense the pain was. And uh, I noticed... I've noticed that uh, some people, they're, they've been running into the stores or into the convenience store or walking like really freaking fast. And then they come out, they'll put gas and they'll, they'll put the thing in their car and in, in the, you know, in the fuel hole and they'll get in their car and wait. And then when it pops, when it stops, uh, they'll get out, put it up real quick and they'll, they'll jump back in their car real fast. I'm telling you. Look, man, there is something, uh, I don't want to, I don't know if I'll post this, because I don't want the public to panic, man, but it's, uh, it's, it's, there's something, like, a uh, microwave, somebody got a, here, here it is, it's, not, I don't think it's the government, it's not the government, because that's, like, uh, we don't do that as a government, like, that's genocide, when you start harassing your citizens, and start like making them get cancer and shit or get sick or mess with their m metabolism and their blood, their blood, uh, their blood stuff. Here comes the police. When, when they start messing with, look, he's probably telling me to leave in a, in a nice way. Um, when, when they, when they, uh, it, our government doesn't do that. Like, I know that a lot of you targeted people say it's our government, it's our government. No, it's not. That's genocide. We, that our, our nation does not stand for that. We don't target our own, like, uh, it, I think it's somebody with a lot of freaking money that has got a hold of something from the military. Like, I, I, that's, uh, I mean, it's almost, it has to be. Because our government would not do that to its own people. That's what other countries do. Genocide, and they kill their own people. 
We don't do that. I'm telling you right now, we don't do that. That's not what we're about. We're about everybody prospering. That's why people want to move to America, man. So somebody with a lot of money has got a hold of a satellite with a laser or something on it. I'm telling you right now. I got it so bad the other night. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell the public. Because if, like, and hopefully if anything happens to me and if I do get cancer and shit and die, hopefully they'll... Somebody will, will do a story on this and say, look, this guy, was he wasn't lying. Like, they literally killed him because uh, uh, I'm not trying to over, un, look, and I'm not even trying to uncover anything, uh, some big uh, conspiracy or whatever. It, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And, like, right now I was at Walmart, and I saw this girl get out, and she looked around, and she freaking went in the store, sprinted. And then I was there for so long that she came back out with her bags and through it like ran and th like I'm just warning the public I'm warning the public right now of that the other night I got electronically harassed so bad and it didn't matter where I was and I had my phones off I have two phones uh and that's just because some they don't always work and uh so I'm just I'm, I'm on here warning the public that's what I'm gonna do you know and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to... I'm a realist. I, I, I tried to, like, do all these other videos and stuff. And I labeled my channel as Life Experience. And this is my life experience. And if this is what I do, this is what I do. There is somebody... Somebody with a lot of money has a, got a hold of some sort of energy weapon. Um... I was at the, 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 in Buda, Texas, I was at the Chevron there. There's a McDonald's on it. And I was at the Red Box. And one day this guy passed by. He's like, hot, don't stand there for too long. I was like, what? I don't know what he was saying. Well, then a, a couple of times went by, and that was when I used to use that Red Box all the time when I was um, actually living in my home. Uh, and um, the, the next time I went... Like I, I was standing there for like 10 or 15 minutes looking at all the movies and I felt this like electricity go through my body and uh, I was like oh man that's what that guy meant well ever since then like I've been getting like electronically harassed pretty routinely and uh, look, there's the police over there with his lights on I better I don't know if I should get out of the area or I think he's just telling me to shut up but I'm not gonna shut up because or he pulled a black car over so 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 anyway um well after like a while that was a busy red box and uh and after that happened to me a couple of times i stopped going and i think everybody stopped going there uh and then they took the red box out the red box is gone like they took it out it's not there anymore somebody with a lot of freaking money and I, I you know what I have a I think I know who it is I think I know who it is and I will never I would never say that name because I would disappear I'm sure I would like really wind up uh, you know what's that saying snitches wind up in ditches I don't snitch on anybody I would never like because you know I value my life but I also value the public the general public needs to know what's going on. Somebody with a lot of freaking money has got hold of an uh, energy weapon, and I believe it's a satellite. Because I, I even moved out in a tent, in a freaking tent, way out in a Cedar Creek, because uh, uh, I was getting targeted so bad. And then I, I had my phones off, and my car was like parked a little, not too close. But I made the mistake. I turned on my phone. And I was like looking at YouTube, and then and it because the first night it didn't happen. The second night after I used my phone, sure enough, I got freaking heated up like a chicken, man. I was in a tent. They got my location, and I believe, like really, like it doesn't matter if I shut up about this. It doesn't matter if I do YouTube's. It doesn't matter if I. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm targeted. It doesn't matter where I live, where I go. Like, and that's another thing. Like, if they want to take you out, if they want to, like, make you, harass you with this energy weapon, uh, 
That's why a lot of guys in my position, they, well, here's the deal. Like, a, lot, a, lot, a while back when I got into this, my position of being targeted and being, you know, uh, in, in, in having to live in my vehicle, a lot of guys were like, move, you better move into a tent. They're going to kill you, man. They put a tracking device on your vehicle, blah, blah, blah. You, and I don't even have a phone. I live in a tent. I, 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 you know, I get it. He gets a government check every month and stuff. And I'm like, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. Well, I, even, I, it got to the point where I tried it, but I'm not allowed to. See, we're all, that's another thing. That's how I know we're all on our own journey. So don't worry about whatever, if somebody's on food stamps or disability or how they're getting their money. Uh, we're all on our own journey. And that's, if you're, I don't care if you're a doctor or a lawyer, if you're succeeding at that, that's because they're letting you. You think I'm, I ain't joking about it. If you think that, uh, yeah, we live in America, it's freedom, but I don't know if it's the Illuminati. I don't know who it is, but if, if you're a police, if you, I don't care what position, what job you have, if you're succeeding at that, it's because they're letting you succeed and they're letting you live your life. So if I'm forced into doing what I do right now, uh, this is what I do. And uh, because if I do nothing, like, so I didn't do anything for a couple of days. I was like, I'm sick of it, sick of it all. And that's, uh, that's when they, they heated me up so bad I thought I was gonna die. And I know if I keep doing these videos, that I'm doing a part of the world, how it fits together, I guess. I don't know. But it scared the shit out of me. It scared me bad. And I, I have kids that I want to help support and I want to watch my grandkids and stuff. My daughter just got married to a guy in the Navy. Like, I'm not going to lay down. I'm not going to stay at home and check my mail every day because I can't even do that. Like, my ex and... My son, they get attacked because of me when I'm there or when I'm even in an area. And I, I know they won't, they don't say it, but they do. I can see my son all frazzled, man, after I'm here for a week or two. That's why I travel. So. I'll keep this targeting channel. I'll make it a targeting channel. I'll make another channel about, and then when I, whatever, whatever town, town I'm in, I can say, hey, I'm in, you know, make it traveling videos I don't know just look I'm telling the general public right now whoever and it, it, this is for the targeting community but this is all for the also for the general public this is my determination this is this is what has happened somebody with a lot of freaking money has got a hold of something uh, energy weapon it's D it's DEW and the mil it, it's uh, the mil it was created for the military. Uh, it's it, and Google it. D E W directed energy weapon. It's real. <laughs> I'm telling you, it exists. It's real. I ain't joking around about it. It, it is real. And uh, so it was for the military, and you know how that goes. Like it, once they once they once the military creates something, uh, you know everything's there's no more secrets in this world technology is technology so somebody either got a patent and made one or uh, they somehow obtained it and bought it uh, I believe more than likely because we sell stuff to other countries that's how we make a lot of money selling stuff to other countries there's stuff that we don't even know about that's going on so either somebody bought it one I think that we might have sold one to a different country, and they and then they bought it from them. That's that's more than likely what happened, because I don't think our own government or NASA or or anybody would sell it uh, to a private individual. It's for our own uh, purposes. But the electronics, hurt, yeah, it's real, and uh, um. I guess maybe this is why I'm targeted because, like, I I won't, I don't want to be like Alex Jones and Rush Limbaugh. I mean, I don't have like any, cons there, of course, a lot of people think it's conspiracy theory, but I tell the truth. I would never lie about this. 
the electronic harassment when I tell my son or my daughter because I talk, I want to talk because they're young, you know, eight, they're nineteen and eighteen years old, twenty years old. I mean, so yeah. But they just like, Dad, it, no, they don't want to talk about it, man. And they don't, my daughter and my son, they don't even want to, first they were all gung-ho about driving. They don't want to drive. They don't want to drive. They, my daughter is like, oh, I'm not going to drive, no way. And my son, he, I taught him how to drive, he was all ha- excited. And then, boom, one day he's like, I don't think I ever want to drive. So, Yeah. Be careful if you're if you feel like you're getting heated up, and I I can tell the people that it's happened to, because I can tell there I and I'm I'm a I live in my car I'm everywhere I'm all over the United States, I know that I can tell the people that it's happened to because they will either walk fast inside or run, like literally run, um, inside. It's very disturbing, man. It really is. It's a directed energy weapon. If you if you go on YouTube, um, a lot of it's like cartoonish. Uh, the people like me speaking about it, like I like if this if I post this video, more than likely. It will, the people that would really need to see it would never see it. And the people that don't need to see it would see it. You know what I'm saying? So that everything's controlled and manipulated. Fake news. But the people that tell the truth, the people like me that tell the truth or actually successful write books or whatever, uh, they make a may you know they they get put on at one two three in the morning. I should have went into comedy when I was funny. Now I'm just a now I just this whole system has made me serious, a serious person. Wanting to tell the truth, and that's the truth, man. That's my theory. Uh, you know, and the chemtrails and stuff they're real. I've seen chemtrails over my house, over over this area. But it hasn't happened in a while. Over Buda and Kyle. I'm just here to warm the public, and I don't, you know. I know I should just go to work for Walmart and see if I can survive there, but I know that if I do that, uh, the people, the powers that be. Or the group, they will destroy. They they'll flatten my tires and stuff. I won't be able to get to work. It's happened to me hundreds of times. I'm not going down that rabbit hole again. Look, there's a tow truck right here. Um, a lot of times, also tow trucks will pull around targeted people because uh, all it takes is for somebody to look. I believe in our police officers, but money's money. Like, if somebody gives an, you know, it's hard to refuse five thousand, ten thousand dollars hey, pull this guy over and arrest him, you know? Which, well, I, I don't know if that would even happen. Because most of the cops, every cop that I've met, they believe in the oath that they took. So, I don't know. Not unless it would be a fake police officer. I don't know, man. Uh, I've been targeted by tow trucks, but, but that's because... Um, they never know when I'm going to, you know, not just leave the, a lot of targeted people leave their, uh, vehicles at the airport. I I was talking to this airport worker, uh, when I was in, uh, outside of Chicago, a suburb, I guess a smaller airport. And, uh, he's like, yeah, cars just sometimes the people get on a plane, they just leave their car there. They don't leave nothing in the car. The car is clean. And after so long, they tow the car away, and uh, the they'll take the license plates off and everything. And it's, a lot of targeted people do that, but I know the truth. It doesn't matter, man. You can get on a plane, throw your phones in the trash, destroy them, leave your car there. You're targeted.
you're targeted whether you fly 500 or 10,000 miles. You're targeted. That I've been all over the United States. I drove 30,000 miles last year. Targeted the whole time. Doesn't matter. I even had, I was getting a loan in Austin. And the guy was like, yeah, I'll give you a loan. He's like, yeah, you guys. Uh, he didn't say targeted. I know he wanted to, but he was like, oh, you guys, man. He goes, yeah, we're starting to give you guys loans. Guys like you or something like that. So he know, they know. Like, it's becoming common knowledge that certain people are targeted. And, uh, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I was, I was just... I, I, the main purpose of this video was just to warn the public. Anybody who wants to hear is, like, I honestly think somebody with a lot of freaking money has got a whole...